Halloween, one of the most popular times of the year, where millions of quadrillions of people celebrate it. So in today's video, I've decided I'm going to add it into my Gorilla Tag fan game. In Halloween, you dress up in costumes to make yourself look extra scary, so the first thing I'm going to do is make some cosmetics. Starting off, I'm going to make a wizard hat and a witch hat. I want both of them in the bundle, so then you'll be able to wear either, because I think it's pretty cool to have an option. So now this is what I sort of came up with. you got a blue hat which is kind of falling over at the bend and then this one's more sticky up. Now the thing I've got to do after that is actually check that the player model fits into these hats. Now to do this I'm just going to copy my player model over from another file and scale him up to fit. Now after scaling the player model up and moving him to spot I feel like he fits this hat quite well so I'm going to quickly check the other one by doing the same thing and duplicating the rig just like that. And again I also think he fits this one. But what I might do is grab the hat, change this into local, and then spin it a little bit like that. And also a little bit maybe like this. And boom, now we have two hats. So this isn't really a bundle yet, so I think I'm going to add in a mask and I might even add in a candy basket. This is what I came up with for the mask. you got the string which holds it onto the player's head. And you got the red nose. And on the inside, as you can see, the red nose is split in half. This is because when you're in game it'll be looking something like this where you won't be able to see the inside of the mask because otherwise you'd be able to see it in front of your face and it would get all in the way. But anyway enough of that I might change the textures on the cheeks I'm not really too sure yet but overall I've given it this like paper crumple effect to make it look sort of old and maybe a little bit creepy. And again I think this should fit on the player's head if I line it up correctly something like that. Hang on I think I need to scale it up. Uh, let me have a little look. Yeah, see? So if I line it up down the middle, it goes up their ears to hold it on and it just lines up with her eyes just about right. Now in game you'll be able to wear both of these at the exact same time because this is going to be a face cosmetic and the hats are both hat cosmetics. But anyway, moving on, I feel like this bundle needs two holdables. So I'm thinking maybe a candy basket, but also a plushie like Gorilla Tech has the little plushies which you can hold. So now the plushie wasn't too hard, I came up with this model right here. So it's pretty much a dulled down version of the level 1 monster. And he's kind of um, a little less scary in a way. I've given him this, uh, I wanted to try and get a wall sort of texture. So I decided to make this and I think it came out not too bad. Now in game his arms will flop up and down and also his head will go side to side. Like an actual plushie with physics. And finally, I came up with this candy basket here, and I wanted to drop a trail of candy as you're walking along, so I'll add that in when we get into Unity. But of course, to get it into Unity, I do need to go File, Export, and Export as an FBX. In Unity, I need to right-click and do Import New Asset. And now I've got the Halloween bundle, I can bring it in and I'm going to click Generate Light Map UVs to make the light look better with it, and then I click Apply. I'm going to go to my Photon Player, open it up and boom as you can see we got all the cosmetics going down the side but anyway i've decided to minimize all of those because we're focusing on the halloween cosmetics and as you can see i've got them here i'm going to drag them in but currently they don't have textures so it's something i'm going to have to add now this stuff does look a little bit weird here but when we get into game it's going to look normal like it should because these colors you might not be able to tell but they're slightly off to what they're actually going to be now if the mask it's pretty simple i can just go like this drag that down drag this on and I've already dragged the mask texture on and finally we've got to do the nose so I'll duplicate the material one more time go like that and drag it on now this pumpkin hat's one of my favorites so you, as you can see here I've got it so I'm going to drag this onto the pumpkin go here go here and boom now we've got a nice looking pumpkin and also I'm going to duplicate the material and make it green for the stem maybe darken it a little bit like that so the plushie here is a little bit more complicated, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and take it and drag it into here. And from there I've went and dragged it into the Unity scene, because with rigid bodies it can make it a little bit harder to make the cosmetic fully in the Photon Player. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go Prefab, Unpack completely and then open it up and open it up again and open it up again. And then open these two up so I can see the left arm, the right arm and the head. Now to make a ragdoll, I'm going to use something called the Create Ragdoll function in unity which you can get by going to game object 3d object and clicking on ragdoll and as you can see now it's popped up now for us we just got to assign some bones so for example for pelvis i think we need to assign that one for left hips 
we don't have a left hip so I'm going to probably assign an object which isn't connected. So I've just created this empty game object so I think all the ones we don't have I'm just going to drag into all. So that says it has the same bone. So to get around that I'm just going to duplicate this a couple of times like that and then just fill up all the ones we don't have. I hope this will work if it doesn't then that's a little bit annoying but yeah. Now if I click create, hopefully it's now done that and as you can see it's created all of these ones which I don't need so I should be able to delete. And then on this body here I can just remove that and hopefully it's going to work. Now I've just hit play and it looks like it sort of is working. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit offset but that is fine hopefully. Ooh. That is not good. So it looks like we are having a little bit of an issue with it. What happens if I remove this one? Yeah. Hmm. Now with a little bit of bug fixing and also adding in the visual rig, I was able to figure out the issue. And that was the neck, the left arm and the right arm didn't have a rigid body on the connecting parts. These three bones here. So all I did was added a rigid body, went to the part of the arm and I went and dragged in the part of the body to the character joint so it lines up correctly. Which means now when I hit play, if Unity decides to load, as you can see, oh, I think his head fell on the ground. And I figured out the issue, all I didn't do was on the actual part, I didn't click is kinematic, which means it doesn't move unless it moves itself. So nothing else can affect it like gravity. So if I grab the rig, I can move him around and stuff. Rotate him, which you'll be able to do in your hands as well in game, and he's working all good. One thing I have noticed though, the right arm isn't actually bending. So to fix that, I'm going to go into here and have a little look. Now I think the issue with this hand not working is that the lower twist limit is at negative 90. That needs to be at zero, and this one here needs to be at 90 maybe. So let me have a quick look at this. And yeah, now as you can see, he seems to be working all good. Now that we got the plushie working, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete him there. And then with the Halloween bundle, I'm going to scale it down to fit the player, which I can do like this. Now I'm lining up all the cosmetics. Hopefully they should be good like that. And then the pumpkin hat, we can try and line up. In fact, what I can do, I can drag it out of that. Go boom, and that should be centered. And boom. And now that should also be censored. Finally, we have the two holdables. Now, the thing with holdables is they can be a little bit annoying to line up at first. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag that into the player's body. Maybe it needs to be a little bit smaller. Now I've got all the cosmetics set up. What I've got to do now is add it into the cosmetic stand. Now, this is quite easy because I've got this whole list here, which holds all the cosmetics in the game. So I hit the little plus and then here I'm going to write weight chat. What I've basically got to do is now repeat that for the rest of the cosmetics. Like next, I think it is the Halloween mask. So I need to go down into the face cosmetic where we have the glasses. Hit the plus, open this up and I'm now writing Halloween mask. And then I need to drag this in. Then I hit the little plus. Actually, no, I don't. Because the next up we have, I believe, is a holdable cosmetic. But now this is the bit you've probably all been waiting for, and that's I'm going to turn the map into old spooky colours. Now to start off, anything green like this, for some reason I'm using the hat material. So I'm just going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to turn it orange, and I'm going to call it Notice Board. And now with the Notice Board, I'm going to drag it onto the Announcements Board, duplicate this, and call it Leader Board. Just like that. Right, so with the computer screen, I also want to change the color of it from this. I might go with something like that. Something I can change is the lining in this level here. Might want to go and change that to a nice orange. So what I might want to do is grab this one and I'll probably make this a red like that. And then this one here, I can change into an orange like that. So this level here is automatically changed all to orange because it uses the same texture as all the stuff up there. And this grey boxing I can maybe change into a light orange like that. One thing what I have thought of, I can go into the floral shop and maybe make it an orange like that. 
Now for something like a spider's web, I don't think it's going to be too hard because if I go like that, and then I go and find a spider's web real quick, drag it on, but as you can see, it's going to have a black background. Now this is a super easy fix, because all I have to do is go and find the spider's web, which I'm going to hope is under something like S. But anyway, you want to change this from opaque to transparent, and as you can see, now it's just for web. So now I feel like something which is quite good is to have one right here. Now I think having a spider web on the cosmetic stand is pretty nice. Then if I go and grab another one to put in the corner here as you are going into the shop. Now with this one I'm going to block off this section here. But this time the collider is actually going to be there meaning you cannot get through this bit at all. Unlike the way into the first level. Now I'm going to quickly add cobwebs to the rest of the levels, but I'm not going to do it on camera because that's going to take like 25 billion years. So now also with these, I'm going to quickly go and dot them around the map. But what is annoying is it's still dark in spawn because I haven't baked the lighting yet. So I'm going to do that also in a minute. And another thing what I have thought of is actually the fur of this NPC I can change to orange. But now I've got them all placed, I'm going to randomise the rotation of them like that and do the same for some other ones, just like that and like this. So now with the skeleton I'm going to size them up to try and match the player roughly, something like that maybe. Now with the skeleton I'm just going to move them into some ideal spots, which won't be directly in the way, but you know you might see them poking around. So I've just finished dotting everything around the map, so what I'm going to do now is bake for lighting and then we're going to test out the cosmetics to check if they actually work in game and I might even see some of you in the game because I'm going to connect to the main server. Now this is what the lighting will look like in game now, when we have all the Halloween stuff as you can see I can do a little spin and as you can see there are other people currently in the lobby. So what we're going to do actually now, if we click these, we should see the cosmetics appear. Yep, as you can see, you can see both of those. The mask seems to be backwards, but when I hit the equip button, as you can see, it does equip. So you can't really see the lighting that well. But that's only because, you know, when other people look at it, it will look fine. But because we're looking at it from not the game view, it looks a little bit strange. So the plushie button does work, but it's just not showing. Oh, that will be an easy fix. As you can see, I've equipped the plushie and can move it around. Remember, though, the game is out right now. But apart from that, have a brilliant rest of your day and goodbye.